Hello everyone. I'm sorry I couldn't be here with you in person, but I'm grateful for the honor of speaking with you today. I first want to thank Board President Jefferson Keel and Executive Director Jacqueline Johnson Pata for giving me the opportunity to address this important conference. I would also like to thank the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians, the Pueblo of Isleta, and the leaders and elders of New Mexico tribes and all the tribal nations across this country. Since 1944, the National Congress of American Indians has been leading the fight for justice, equality, and empowerment in American Indian and Alaska Native communities. Central to that movement and one of the great gifts of Indian culture has been the powerful tradition of service that is woven into the fabric of Native American life. America's own constitution was influenced by the Iroquois League model of cooperative governance. And throughout our history, Native Americans have had the highest per capita military enlistment rates of any group in this country. Indian tribes have always viewed service, community, sacrifice, and courage as important values, essential to an individual's journey to becoming a leader and an agent of change. The Corporation for National and Community Service has played a vital role in supporting that tradition. Through our Senior Corps, AmeriCorps, and Learn and Serve America programs, we have been working with tribal nations on a government-to-government -government basis to address critical issues affecting Native American communities. Those issues include assisting elders, cultural preservation, economic development, health and wellness, youth leadership, education, and land preservation. Our partnership with you was greatly strengthened in 2009 when President Obama signed the Kennedy Serve America Act, the most sweeping expansion of national service in a generation. This landmark law not only makes service a solution for the big challenges facing our nation, it expands service opportunities, focuses national service on key outcomes, builds the capacity of individuals, nonprofits, and communities to succeed and encourages innovative approaches to solving problems. That legislation did one another important thing. It called on the corporation to establish the first ever senior advisory position devoted to expanding service opportunities for Native Americans. For the past two years, Ron Lassard, an American Indian from the Mohawk and Abenaki tribes, has been serving as our strategic advisor for Native American affairs. Ron is leading the effort across all corporation programs to increase Native American participation in national service and to enhance our efforts to address the unique needs of Native American communities. I'm proud of what we have been able to accomplish together. This year, through our new Youth Engagement Zone initiative, the Fond du Lac Band of Lake Superior Chippewa received a three-year grant to engage high school youth at risk of dropping out in a culturally relevant service learning program. By embedding service learning into core academic curricula and integrating entrepreneurial skills and tribal culture with service learning projects, we expect to see significant gains in student achievement and attendance. Our foster grandparent program has been in the Navajo Nation community for over 40 years and is still going strong. And we've been working with you to tackle the meth crisis that has been especially devastating in tribal communities. Six tribal nations through Learn and Serve America grants are involving young people as part of the solution to the meth crisis. Young people from the six tribes are promoting traditional culture and values and serving as peer educators, developing substance abuse awareness campaigns, engaging in service projects as alternatives to meth use. And according to people like Sandra Harris, our service learning coordinator from the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma, these young people are not only improving their communities, they are gaining a sense of pride and accomplishment and building pathways to a better tomorrow. We're beginning to see these kinds of results throughout Indian country. We have made substantial progress, but we can do more. In June of this year, we announced more than $3 million in new grants to support Native American communities in using national service as a solution. The 18 tribal grants will address key challenges, such as building and renovating homes, tutoring youth, disaster response, substance abuse prevention, and economic development. The corporation has set aside a percentage of AmeriCorps grant funds for federally recognized Indian tribes and tribal organizations. If the president's fiscal budget for year 2011 request is fully funded, this will make a total of approximately 3.1 million available to Indian tribes and tribal organizations to expand economic opportunity, improve achievement and test scores for young people, and ensure healthy futures for both people and our precious environment. This is a substantial investment, especially in these tough economic times. 
Applications for these grants are due early next year, on January 25th. A similar set-aside is available for our Learn and Serve America program, and competitive grants will be awarded to federally recognized Indian tribes next year to develop school-based programs that make service to the community a part of young persons' education experience. These grants will help Native American youth retain their culture, history, and language. They will also put them on a lifelong path of service and leadership that will benefit them and their tribes now and in the future. The Serve America Act gave us a mandate and new tools to strengthen our partnership and expand service opportunities. But in order for this to work, we at the corporation have to make sure you know what resources are available and you have to let us know what is working and what is not and what we can do better. Ron Lassard is keeping those lines of communications open. I urge you to reach out to him. Beyond the dollars and cents, we share your commitment to lifting up struggling communities, transforming lives, and building a more perfect union. As your conference title suggests, strong tribal nations are essential to a strong America. Thank you for almost seven decades of leadership in that important endeavor. I look forward to working with you in the years to come.